Hello, Brian Knowlton back with another super cool slide reel tutorial. This lesson will cover the identification of bad or weak compressor valves. For this tutorial, a manifold gauge set is needed. Start the air conditioner and connect the gauges. The rule of thumb is to add 20 to 30 degrees to the high side pressure of the refrigerant at the current ambient temperature. So if we are testing R22 and the outdoor temperature is 80 degrees, we will first get out the super cool slide rule if you have one. Here is yet another example of something that cannot be performed by any other slide rule made. The super cool has a built-in temperature pressure chart for both R22 and R410A. To use this, we set the temperature to 80 as shown here directly over the zero. In the R22 window we will note that the pressure is 144 and in the R410A window we note the pressure is 235. Referencing a temperature pressure chart will give the same answers. Next we are going to use an educated guess as to the efficiency of our equipment. If our equipment is tense here we will add 30 degrees to our ambient temperature. If it is 12 sear, we're going to add 24 degrees. And if it is 14 sear, we will add 20 degrees. In this example, our equipment will be 12 sear. We take our outdoor ambient temperature of 80 degrees. We are going to add the 24 degrees to this. This gives us 104 degrees. Set 104 degrees in the temperature window as shown here and reference the corresponding window. For R22 it's 208. For R410A it would be 335. This should be your discharge pressure of the unit. If the pressure is higher than this the likely problems are a restriction at the metering device or an overcharged unit. If the pressure is lower than this, check the pressure on the low side, also referred to as the suction side of the compressor. If the pressure on the low side is above 95 psi for R22 or 155 degrees for R410A, the likely causes are a TXV that is not metering, bad compressor valves, or a leaking reversing valve if so equipped. Shut the discharge port at the unit and pump the unit down. If you are unsure how to pump the unit down, watch the video titled Pumping Unit Down Dash Refrigerant to be Contained in the Unit. If it will not pump down, monitor the reversing valve if it has one. If there is no frosting at the reversing valve or it does not have a reversing valve, the compressor is bad. This concludes our tutorial but please stay tuned for the introduction of the greatest tool ever created for the HVAC industry. The one, the only, the super cool slide rule. This is the most useful tool in the HVAC industry. It's guaranteed to save you lots of money by saving you lots of time. Thanks for watching. Hello, I'd like to take a minute to introduce you to the coolest tool in the HVAC industry. Historically, technicians have carried four or five different slide rules. You have one for R22, one for R410A, one for metal duct sizing, one for flexible duct sizing, and yet others for diagnostics or troubleshooting. Thankfully those days are gone. This one tool will allow you to charge a system with R22 or R410A and either the superheat or subcooling method. The back cover contains required formulas, it has capacitors rules and practices, a wet bulb conversion chart, how to perform computations on series or parallel circuits, an electric heat strip guide, a complete system troubleshooting diagnostic chart, and how to troubleshoot compressors in TXV. Inside is packed with even more information. It performs sizing of both metal and flexible duct. It has the only direct reading conversion from smooth metal to insulation line metal we've ever seen. The majority of technicians have never been taught that if the insulation is on the inside of the ductwork, you cannot size it with a regular duct calculator. 
It has step-by-step -step directions for determining airflow through a gas furnace, electric furnace, or an air conditioning unit. It has pressure drop multipliers for duct work, as well as recommended velocities. And finally, the scanning of this QR code gives instant access to over 100 tutorials to assist the technician with every test and repair imaginable. You owe it to yourself, as well as your customers, to own this tool. It's less than $20, including shipping. The SuperCool will save you countless hours of frustration when troubleshooting units. Log on to our website and get one today, and I promise you will be a better technician tomorrow. And remember, every technician is only as good as their tools. Thanks for watching.